We told you last week that Chico plans to challenge the Warren v. Chico deal based on the recent Supreme Court ruling. For the first time since then, the city handed out 72-hour notices to clear out dozens of homeless camps. They did that today. And Action News Now reporter Sade Pullen joins us and shows us, I should say, how the pending legal situation will impact camp cleanups. You know, the new Supreme Court decision has basically overridden that law and allowed for cities to actually go out and enforce. The Supreme Court ruling on Grants Pass versus Johnson states that cities have the right to fine, ticket, or arrest people for camping out illegally, whether there is shelter space available or not. But the city of Chico is still bound by the terms it agreed to when it settled its own lawsuit over camp clearouts. And while the city just announced plans to challenge that deal, the city gave notice to clear out camps at Bidwell Park, East 20th Street, and along Little Chico Creek from Humboldt Road to Bruce Road. I asked Chico's mayor, Andrew Coolidge, if city crews are still expected to follow the rules of the settlement while things still play out in court since they are challenging the Warren versus Chico deal amid the Supreme Court ruling. I'm, I'm sure we're so we're still continuing under the agreement because it's the agreement that exists, but we're going back into court to get out of the agreement. Be working Th under things the are agreement. basically still the same until we get seen before a federal judge to try to exit that agreement through, you know, the rule 60 as as defined by the judicial code. The mayor says that if they get out of this Warren versus Chico agreement, that they plan on still keeping the pallet shelter, but that they will close the alternative site permanently. He also says that if they get out of this deal, that the city will be cracking down on people for violating city ordinances, for sleeping in public areas, and for having camp sites. So this would mean no more seven-day notices or no more 72-hour notices. Reporting in Chico, I'm Sade Pullen with Action News Now. The city said last week it wanted to change the settlement deal to remove the notice requirements, but promised to keep running the pallet shelter until at least 2027. The people who filed that lawsuit, who entered into the agreement with the city, did not immediately agree to that offer.